The crazy thing about the Strand event was that it was this miracle. It just kind of took a chance on our project that we would, A, sell our book at their store, even though it was this little self-published crazy idea of a book that we had, and B, that they would host a huge book launch party for us that would allow like thousands of people to come and color. Here they are. <laughs> That's my page. So it was super exciting. Like it felt really validating. Um, I mean, the Strand. It's you know, it's not like just the corner of the little tiny bookstore. You can't miss it. It has a big face on it. It like draws you right in. Very exciting. Ready to color. Okay, here we go. So maybe grab a spot at the table and go up and look at the coloring pages and choose the one that speaks to you today. Okay, so welcome. It's really relaxing to just kind of focus on one thing. It kind of brings you back to your childhood. It helps to center my mind and go back to that place of no, no worries. So we encourage people to color outside of the lines. Okay, perfect. So perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think it's a good like method of relaxation that's really different um, from the crazy everyday life that people have to go through. The colors make me happy. Yeah, I, I see. And it's low stakes, but it's also a completable task. All right, um, we're looking at about 2.30, just over an hour. We had some troubles managing the crowd. We had a sense it was going to be really, really popular, but we couldn't turn the tables that quickly to accommodate so many people. We had to take reservations for people to sit like we would have had to do if we were like a really trendy restaurant. Sorry that my I'm not sitting down and answering yet. Is there a time for like 20 minutes or so? Because we just have such a long list of people waiting. I thought the book launch went spectacularly. So many people came and it was so popular. It was like a really crazy kind of way for the whole project to take off because it just like took off with a bang. 